New concerns at Hanford. The nuclear plant's most toxic tank may be in worse condition than anyone imagined. Now workers have found evidence the tank could be leaking into the soil. Our team has been covering Hanford's dirty secrets extensively. And tonight, Gary Chittam has a reaction from Olympia on this latest development. But we begin with King 5 investigator Susanna Frame, who broke the news on this latest leak. Managers at Hanford are facing one of their biggest challenges ever right now. It appears the most dangerous material on earth is out of its tank and out of their control, and there's no immediate plan on how to solve the problem. We're talking about the tank known as AY-102. A year ago, the public found out the tank was leaking toxic sludge through its primary shell into a hollow safety space. But now it appears the worst case scenario has happened. The waste has eaten through the outer tank wall and made its way over through piping to what's called a leak detector. Pit. Experts tell us if it's crawled all the way over there, it's also seeping into the ground. Well, certainly, obviously, I'm aware of the of the AY 102 um, uh, situation, uh, watching it carefully. Just two days ago, Secretary of Energy Ernest Moniz visited Hanford and told reporters tank AY 102 was in check. The next visual inspection a couple days ago uh, showed no no further uh, indication of leak. And of course, I should say uh, everything is contained right now in the in the, the annulus, uh, and there there are no pumpable liquids at the moment. These are the latest pictures of the nuclear waste obtained by King 5 this week. They show that, in fact, the volume of material has increased. But no one expected this. We've gotten a hold of internal Hanford documents that show a crew working on the leak detection pit pulled a piece of equipment from it and measured a whopping contamination reading, 800,000 dpm, or disintegrations per minute. That's a significant amount of radioactive contamination where none, not a drop, should be seen. So now I'm joining you live from San Antonio, Texas, where I actually had come to uh, take part in a journalism conference when this story broke. And we do want to tell you why is this so worrisome that this specific tank is leaking? I have to be honest, it is the absolute worst waste in all of Hanford right there in that tank. It's the most radioactive. It's the most chemically contaminated. So if there's one tank that you don't want to leak into the ground, into the groundwater, and certainly the Columbia River, it would be this tank. And to recap, in our series, Hanford's Dirty Secrets, which we've been uh, running over the last several months, we've exposed that the company in charge of all these tanks ignored signs of this leak for about a year before doing anything about it. So what's happened now is a prime example of why you just cannot wait. You can't uh, dawdle when you're talking about nuclear waste at Hanford. I'm Susanna Frame reporting live in San Antonio, Texas. Thanks, Susanna.